Welcome to video number five of the series, Coming Soon, Sage BusinessWorks 2012. Sage BusinessWorks 2012 partners with Sage Payment Solutions to bring you fully integrated credit card processing. This video gives you a quick overview of the credit card processing and order entry module. No longer do you have to run your credit card transactions through your external processing system and then enter the payments into Sage BusinessWorks. Sage BusinessWorks 2012 enables you to process your payments right in accounts receivable and order entry. All you need is a merchant account with Sage Payment Solutions and a quick run through the Sage Exchange Setup Wizard in Sage BusinessWorks. This video reviews credit card processing in the order entry module. Start an order entry with orders. Maintain sales orders. We'll enter an order for ETC. Put in a line item so that we have one. And then when we go to the summary screen, you have the ability to enter an initial deposit received, or you can choose not to do that. It will save the credit card information either way. So I'm going to go ahead and enter $50 and click on the credit card information. It allows me to choose any of the credit cards that I have on file for this particular customer. So I'm going to say OK and OK once again. And once we get to this point where we save the information, the behavior of this screen depends on a setting that you have in your OE parameters. Let's take a look at that. Order Entry Utilities, Maintain OE Parameters. This setting right here affects how that particular screen behaves. If you post credit card payments at time of order, when you save the order, it will post, process the credit card, and save the deposit on the customer record. If you choose to post credit card payments at time of invoicing, it will process the credit card at the time of invoicing and post the payment to the customer record and the accounts receivable module. So I'll say OK, bring up my sales order, and you noticed my setting was set to process credit card payments at time of order. So I'm going to click on the Save button. Up comes Sage Exchange. This indicates that my credit card payment will be processed and the customer's credit card will be charged. So I'll click on Submit. The order is saved. The payment is processed. If your setting is set to process credit card payments at time of invoicing, the credit card will be processed when you post and print the invoice or when you convert the order to an invoice. So we'll close out of here and we'll take a look at the next area. Under order entry, invoices, direct invoicing, we'll do the same thing. We'll choose our ETC customer, add just any old line item, and then go to the summary screen. And on the summary screen, you note that it looks very similar to the order entry um, order screen. We can choose the credit card, click on credit card info. When I click on OK and post, it will go ahead and post that payment to the customer's credit card. It'll process the credit card, post to the customer record in Sage BusinessWorks, and also to the general ledger. Next, we're going to look at print and post invoices. With this task, you might have the parameter setting set to time of invoicing. When the order is created, the payment is entered, the credit card is selected, and it is saved. Then you'll select your orders for invoicing, go to print and post invoices, and for each order converted to an invoice with credit card information, Sage BusinessWorks will charge the appropriate customer credit card and post to the customer record in the general ledger while you're getting a second cup of coffee. Next we'll take a look at credits and how credits are processed. If we go to Invoices, Returns, let's say we're returning a part, again for my favorite customer, ETC. We'll just go ahead and choose to apply to a credit card refund and note that the button changed from the Open Credit Deposit Detail to Credit Card uh, Info button. Choose which credit card we want to apply the refund to. Choose the part number that we're going to return. We're going to return that one at $195. When we click on the Post button, 
the Sage Exchange screen comes up again, and up here in the upper left-hand corner, note that it says credit. So it's going to process a credit to the customer's credit card when I hit submit. Let's take a quick look at how invoice returns work. So if I go here to invoices, returns, and down to invoice returns, use my favorite customer again, and choose an invoice that happens to be closed because it's been paid. And if I choose to apply it to a credit card refund, again note that the button changes to card info. And what shows up here in this screen is the credit card that was used to pay that actual invoice. It, you still have the ability to change that if that's what you choose, but by default it will come up with the credit card that was used to pay the original invoice. So when you do the return, click on the post button. Again, you'll notice that Sage Exchange comes up and you can go ahead and submit it so the credit is processed against the customer's credit card. Processing your orders and collecting payment has never been easier. Save time and the possibility of errors by taking advantage of the integrated credit card processing implemented in Sage BusinessWorks 2012. Thank you for watching. This slide contains a list of informational links. Please note that Sage Software Online has changed and is now the customer information portal at https colon forward slash forward slash customers dot sage north america dot com. Thank you again.